All right, good morning. So today we'll be working a little bit on our hip flexors. Last time we worked on our forward splits. And I think that's I went a little bit over time. So today we'll be doing our hip flexors specifically. All right. Let's see what these. All right, so let's start with a little bit of a warm-up first. We're going to take one leg around and other one. Ten times two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the other way. So we take it in. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we open up. Oh, can you guys even see me? <laughs> All right, there we go. Open up, hands up. We're going to go into one hip and straighten the body. There we go. And up to the top. Into the other hip, straighten the body. And up, there we go. Five times on each side, so two. And up, in, straight, up. There we go, three. And up, up, four to the side, straight, up, there we go, straight to the top, and last one to each side, hook that hip, straighten that body, to the top, center and other side, straighten to the top, there we go. We're going to do this again five times, but this time we hook our hip, we straighten, we turn to tabletop, across the middle, sideways, to the top, recover. All right, so do six of those, so it's three to each side in total. There we go, hook your hip, straighten your body, rotate. Then we up, across, the other side, hook your hip to the top, recover. All right, that was two. Hip, tabletop, across the middle, straighten to the top. There we go, that's three. Straighten, tabletop, and across, straighten to the top. That's four, two more. Sideways, ooh, sorry, sideways, straight in the body, tabled up. Cross the middle, straighten to the top, to the center. And last one, hip, straighten, rotate, tabled up. Across the middle, straighten to the top, recover. All right, let's quickly move our hips. Circular motions, circle, circle. All right, and we find a comfortable spot on the floor. Make sure that you guys can see me properly though. All right, I'd recommend wearing socks or socks or something soft on the floor that you can move comfortably. Otherwise, you'll just be moving the floor with you. All right, we start in our butterflies. And you don't put all the way in, just comfortable. You just want to be comfortable. Hold on to your toes and you're pushing down on your own. Squeeze to the floor. You're using your own leg muscles. There we go. And we're holding. Six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and we release. Put our hands to the back. And we do again. We squeeze to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we hold on to our ankles or our toes if you're really flexible. And we keep our knees turned out. Keep it out to the sides. And we're going to straighten as far as we can. Really slowly. 
a little bit longer on the one spot where you might feel it stretching a bit more intense. There we go. See, I'm not straightening my legs all the way. I'm feeling it at the back of my knees a little bit. So I'm holding it there for a few seconds longer. And then I continue all the way until it's straight. There we go. All right. Turn a bit so you guys can see. And from here, I'm turning my knees out again. Let me see if you guys can see. Turning it out so that I can pull my feet back to the center. Holding it on a little bit where you're feeling the stretch the most. This is the position for me. So I'm holding it for one, two, three, and I pull it in all the way. Feet together. There we go. And again, hands on our toes. We squeeze to the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Relax, hands to the back, and squeeze to the floor. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For those of you who are already flexible enough or it's already flat on the floor, you guys put a block under your heels and squeeze the floor. It just intensifies the stretch a little bit. All right, and same thing. We straighten out, keeping our knees turned out as far as we can. And we hold it a little bit where you start feeling the stretch the most. For me, that is right there. So I'm holding it for one, two, three. And then I keep moving until I straighten my legs all the way. There we go. And I hold it for one, two, three. And once again, I turn my knees out and I pull back. I keep my body as low as I can. The only reason I'm lifting up is so that everyone can see what I'm doing with my legs without my shirt blocking the view. So you stay low, turn your knees out and start pulling back. Once again, pausing where you're feeling the stretch the most, under your knees or into your hips. One, two, three, and continue. And each time, pull it in just a little bit closer, a little bit more. So we started with it being a comfortable stretch. By now, you should be almost at your maximum. And once again, holding our toes. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hands to the back. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Last time, holding onto our toes or our ankles, straightening out our, knee, our legs, keeping as low as you can, keeping your knees turned out, and pause for a few seconds where you feel it most intensely. One, two, three, and we straighten all the way. There we go, one, two, three, once again. We turn our knees out and we pull it back in, keeping your knees and your tummy as close to the floor as you can. And you hold it where you feel it the most. One, two, three. For some of you, it might feel like it's struggling to click. That's completely okay. That is normal. Don't try to force and move it back and forth just so it will click. It's part of the stretch. And continue. There we go. Pull it in. And this time we pull it in as close as we can go. And this time we hold onto our ankles. We use our elbows to squeeze our knees to the floor. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our hands to the back. And we squeeze for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and relax. Shake out your hips a little bit, little rotations. There we go. All right. And we sit in second. There we go. It's not about a full middle split. This is more to open the hips. We're going to be working on rotations a little bit. 
Some of you might feel some of these stretches very intensely, others might not. So if you're not feeling it, I'll give some advancements. All right, so from our middle split, we are going to, firstly, arms up. You want to go all the way down to the floor without touching the floor. Hands up. You must feel it working in your hips. And you're going down slowly. And where you feel it, we hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. We're going to do that again, starting one side. So we turn our tummy to our leg. We go down. And for 10 seconds, we're moving across. We're moving across so that for the full 10 seconds. So down. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. And one more time to the other side. Down. And across for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and up. From here, oops, so that you can see my knees, bending one knee slightly, keeping this bottom bum on the floor, trying to push your knee to the floor in front of you. There we go. And five, four. Three, two, one. If this is not stretching at all, open wider into your middle split. And to the back. We push for one, two, three, four, five, and up. Other side, slight bend, forward, and one, two, three, four, five and to the back one two three four five there we go bending our knees up onto a 90 you can close your middle split a little bit it doesn't have to be too far open 90 we don't want it to go into your knees or to to unstabilize your hips just 90 degrees hands behind your back and we push knees to the floor push there we go this should feel quite uncomfortable in the hips. And once again, never sit in this position for too long. I can get. You don't want to destabilize your hips. You still need those to be nice and strong. It's just to get some more range of motion. There we go. If you're not feeling this, you can go with both knees at the same time. There we go. And relax. All right. So. From our middles, this is one where you do actually want to get reasonably far into your middle split. It's going to feel quite uncomfortable for some of you. For the rest of you, won't feel it at all. It depends on your tendons. All right. Sorry, kitty cat. We're going to rotate. So you bend your knees just slightly, and you want to rotate your whole body, your legs, and everything included. And once you rotate until your front knee is on the floor, sorry, you want to lift up your bum so that you are in your pigeon. Sorry, kitty cat, come on. In your pigeon. Hands on your knee and on your ankle. Let me just move back a bit here. Yes. All right. So we've rotated. Hands on our ankle and on our knee, bum up in the middle, in your pigeon pose. There we go. And we're holding that one for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We relax onto our bum. We bring our bottom foot around over our knee and we pull into our chest for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. We pull our foot down so we can squeeze our knees together. If this one does not stretch, sorry, for those of you who does not feel the stretch here, 
you want to open your knees into one, well, open your legs so that your shins are in one straight line. For the rest of us, we're keeping it in. All right. Sorry, kitty cat. Just holding it there if that's already stretching. Otherwise, you reach forward. There we go. You should feel this one deeply in your lung. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We open up a little bit so that our ankle is on our knee. Sorry, I hope everyone can see that. So we open up until our ankle is on our knee. We bring out this bottom foot so it's also directly under our knee. And we push down. If this is not stretching, go forward. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we open up, take our leg all the way to the back again. Oh, sorry, kitty cat. Come on, I know, I know you too. There we go. Open up, and we want to rotate back into our middle splits. This could feel like it hooks a lot into your hips for some of you, but if it doesn't, that's also good. All right, let's do the other side. Slight bend in the knees, rotating all the way until your knee is on the floor, hands on your ankle and on your knee, and lift your bum to the center. In your pigeon pose, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sit on your bum. So for the pigeon, even if you're all the way up there, as long as you're feeling it into your bum, that's fine. We sit on our bum, bring our back leg all the way across, cross our knee, put it down, and we pull it to our chest. Keep your bum cheeks on the floor. And one, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight. We pull our feet close to our hips and squeeze our knees together. Once again, if you don't feel it when sitting like this, you open up your legs into a straight line. And then we go. We push down. If that's not stretching enough, you go down. If that's not stretching, you go into straight legs. And one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. You open your knees so that this foot is on top of the knee. You open this one up a little bit so that the knee is on top of the foot. Be careful not to have it down all the way like this and not too far over. You just want it on the ankle and squeezing down. You should feel this in this topic. If not, Reach forward. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Top leg comes all the way around. Open up and rotate into your middles again. If that rotation is comfortable, awesome. All right. Now let's get to the really fun part, our middle splits. So, if you are already flat in a middle split, get yourself a block. It is going to be a lot harder if you are on a block though. So if you can do a penguin roll, which is completely flat in your middle splits over onto your tummy, perfect, you can use a block. It is going to be a little harder though. For the rest of us, we're sitting in our middles. There we go. And for the first two, we're going to use our hands. So you just want to lift up slightly until you feel a stretch. You don't want to go all the way into your middle. This is about rotation after all. So slightly into your middle and come back down. So if you're not flat, you'll see a little gap between your bum and the floor. And those of you who are on, who are on blocks, if you're flat on the block, put another block. Or use a chair or use something, but stick to your limit. Don't overstretch yourself. And forward and down, five of those, three, 
four, five. All right. For those of you whose middle splits are really far from flat, this one's going to be either really intense or you're going to cheat it. You've got to push yourself. I can't be there to check how you're doing it. So if you are, as you can see, my legs are reasonably closed right now, um, it's going to be a lot harder. So then I'd say use your hands as far as you can until you feel the stretching come down like we just did. For the rest of you who can manage to do this exercise, what we're doing is we're not using our hands. So hold your hands in front of your body or next to your side for momentum if you really need to. But we're doing the exact same exercise we just did, just without our hands. So we go up. So you'll see it pushes me to the floor. Whereas when I use my hands, I was stopping myself. So we go one, ooh, down. Five of those. Ready? And two, down. Three, four, five. All right, those of you on blocks, once again, it's going to be incredibly difficult for you to actually get over, but I want everyone to try to push as far as you can onto your tummy. It's going to hurt. You want to catch yourself, that's fine. Sorry, kitty cat, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. One, two, three, and up. Oh, there we go. And you're onto your tummy. On your knees, bend your knees, and into our froggy stretch. Into our froggy. There we go. And we relax. Breathe, focus on relaxing those muscles. There we go. And we want to squeeze our bum. You should feel it intensifying by your hips. Squeeze. Almost as if you're trying to close your legs. Two, three, four, five, and relax. And again, we squeeze, two, three, four, five, and relax. And one more time, squeeze your bum, two, three, four, five, and relax. There we go. Come kitty cat, come kitty cat. From here, let me turn so you guys can see what I'm doing. From here, I'm closing my toes together. Knees as far open as I can. And I'm sitting on again. Knees as far as I can open, toes together, sitting backwards, rotating my pelvis forward, sitting on my toes if I can. If you're not feeling this stretch, rotate your pelvis more, arching your back. Well, if you're still not feeling it, awesome. There we go, we're sitting there for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, and up. Sorry, kitty cat, come. And we're going into our froggy again. Into our froggies. We want you can go onto our elbows. And in our froggy position, we're doing our cat and cows. So, cat. You should feel it in your hips. If you are flat in this, once again, use a block. There we go. Cat and cow. Staying in your froggy. There we go. And one more time into your cat. Come, come, kitty cat. Come. I'm not calling you. Come. Urgh. <laughs> Cat's pose into you while you're in your froggy, specifically focusing on turning your pelvis in. And cow while in your froggy. There we go. Leaning forward, touching your toes together, pushing your bum and your toes to the floor at the same time. Those of you who are not feeling this stretch, go into cobra, keeping your feet in this position. There we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Open your feet. Bum first. Push, push, push into your middle split. And hold it at the top for one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and sit down. There we go. Close your legs, shake them out a little bit. Your hips, so rotate, rotate, rotate. Hug your knees if that helps a bit. Let's go. Let me also check it out a bit. Going over time. Oh, good. No, I've still got time. Wonderful. Yay. All right. For the next ones. All right, so we just came down from our middle split. We want to see you sitting in our middles. All right. We are trying to rotate, even if you're not flat. My middle split is not flat, and I'm still going to do this exercise. It's not about being flat, it's about the rotation. So we're going to rotate into our front splits. We did not warm it up as intensely, so I'm not expecting everyone to go into their maximums. You want to put both hands over the leg you're turning towards. If you have to lift your bum, great, but try to keep it as low as possible. So if you're not flat, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to rotate to your maximum. You'll feel it pull into his back leg or in the front, depending on... Uh, either previous injuries or where your stuff. Hands towards the leg that you're turning, uh, turning towards. In my case, I'm turning to my right leg. And I'm not flat in my middle split, so I'm firstly rotating as far as I can until I feel it hooks. Then I lift up slightly into my front. And then I rotate all the way back and then to the other side. If you are flat, however, once again, my middles are not flat, so I'm just going to show what this looks like if you're in a flat front split. You're firstly going to rotate into a front split with an open back leg. So this rotation, from middle to open back. So an open back leg meaning it's not square, your knee is not towards the floor. But you'll see, it's an open front split. Sorry, if you're on Instagram, I'm, I think might not be able to see. So, middle, into open front split, into full normal front split. And open front split, lifting us into middle again. And that's the rotation. Once again, if you're not flat in your front, try, you've got to lift up a little bit. Open front, full front. Open front, middle. All right, so going to do two to each side. Ready? And there we go. And one, and back, and to the other side, one, and back. There we go. One more time. Open, front, open, closed. There we go. And to the other side, last time, open, front, open and middle. All right, so this one you could do at home as much as you want between the open front and middle. That rotation is incredibly good. It's very similar to the one we did earlier with the bent leg pushing forward, except this time it is straight and you're focusing on the rotation in this hip. There we go. All right. I don't know about some of you, but the I've got incredibly tight tendons in my hips, so I'm feeling this quite a lot. I hope that's doing the same thing, guys. And let's just do a nice cool down. So we're up on our feet. We're bending our knees. We're taking our knees together and opening up and closing. Just so it gets nicely into our hips. Not stretching, just some movement. Calm down. There we go. And other way. So out and in. Just moving those hips and the bum a little bit. There we go. Stepping, turning out. And in. And I don't know if you guys can see my feet. I'm stepping. Turned out, turned in. Just a few of those. There we go. 
Nice, easier movement using the hips. There we go. Side to side, wiggle, wiggle. And that is it then. Thank you so much. See you next time.